Hi, so I'm back with the review for the Autograph Tracer. Um, here we go. Um, I'm going to try and make it as comprehensive as I possibly can. Um, if you have any questions, please do let me know. So upon opening the box, you are met with a light bulb, the projector itself, and some instructions. Yes, I did repack everything so that you could get like the full 100 experience as though you just <laughs> bought the projector. So yeah, so I've laid out on the table um, the three things that came in the box, three items that came in the box. Um, opening the light bulb. It's a little spirally one. And it goes in there. So I'm just going to screw it in now. I used my left hand and it took me absolutely forever and then I used my right and it took me two seconds. So. so you have some safety instructions in the instructions. <laughs> A whole page of them, 16. And then more towards the back, all of these are different languages. And then more towards the back, you have um, some illustrated instructions on how to set it up, basically. So pretty simple. And then behind that, you have, um, it's shown you basically how to adjust the image so you can focus. Um, wait, I think I tapped these. So step seven is basically moving the surface that the projector is on back and forth. And step eight was um, like this thing that I'm twisting. What should I call it? A lens. It's sort of like focusing the lens. So that's basically how you get your image to be clear better focused. So here we have Mr. Beckham, David Beckham, I hope he doesn't mind, but I don't know, just that was who I thought of off the top of my head. Um, I thought he'd have some good model shots. So I have a star and the word star and I have the word extraordinary. I chose that one because I just thought of like the biggest word I could think of in that moment um, was extraordinary. So um, yeah. Okay, so yeah, so I wanted to show you kind of what resolution should i say resolution like how big what you put underneath the projector can be before you're compromising the edges of the projector so this is i think roughly 13 centimeters long um 13 centimeters in length and then i'm going to show you what it looks like when i put the projector on top of that Turn it on. Very simple, it's just got the on and off switch. There are no other switches or anything. I've got some A3 sized paper on my desk board thing so that I can show you. Whoops, my my cup of tea there. Wait, what's going on? Yes, it's on. Oh, right. So yeah, I've turned it on, but I'm having to focus the um, lens thing to get an actual image going on the um, board setup. Oh, okay, I've taken it right off, so obviously I want to show you that. <laughs> So yep, yeah, here we are, we have, so you can see that kind of line, that vertical line, um, that's where you can see that you can't, what should I say, you can't see the whole thing, or the, the tracer, it doesn't cover the whole word, so you should, probably shouldn't go over probably, I'd say 10 centimeters 
for the image that you're trying to project if that makes any sense so because you can see that i know it's we've got some compromisation it's not so yeah i'm pushing it closer because that's what i do i push it closer to the board to get um just better focus really so and then i can shift it up and down as well um so yeah it's really fiddly it's not like the most straightforward thing um but yeah it works it's fine so bye bye extraordinary so i'm going to show you star now and you can see immediately that is much better um in terms of space and everything you know you can pick exactly where you want it i know that vertical line is still there but that's because you know i was using my iphone so um i couldn't really i was just using my hand one hand so i've got the star image as well just to show you you know how it looks in a in an image form right so i switched the lights off uh, i just wanted to show you i've got blinds um, they're not that dark um, they're just some um, <clears throat> blinds but i feel like the darker it is the better um, your projection will look so you've got mr david here mr beckham on the board so the image is quite good you can see but i don't know if you can see that it's not exactly straight um uh, how can i describe it it kind of goes into like a sort of cone almost like it bends um i don't know why it's doing that but on the wall it looks better which i'll show you in about a second i just want to show you uh one of the images was black and white and the other image was color so i just want to show you like the different kinds of um projection you get from both yeah, I'm just focusing it now to make it clearer. So yeah, that's a pretty good image. I think you'll agree. Except it's not straight. <laughs> um, sorry, you're having to... Again, I wanted to show you what the font looks like in the dark. You can see it looks better. That's me literally fiddling around, trying to make it as straight as possible, but it's not happening. And then I wanted to show you the star as well in the dark, because obviously it's the machine just works best in a dark room so i wanted to make that clear so i've just switched on the lights switching off the projector another thing i wanted to show you was how it would look if you projected onto a wall. So here again, we have David on the wall. What I'm doing now is probably playing with the lens thing and pushing it back and forth. So you can really see what you can do. And we have like a clear image here. It's just on a wall. Um, yeah, it's, I think it's pretty good. So off I go here to measure um, the dimensions and I think they were like 50, 53 by um, something, oh crap, I forgot, oh why did I forget, wait I have to tell you what that is so let me just pause this. 
sorry about that. So it was 60 centimeters in height and 53 centimeters in width was what you were looking at in the black and white image. And then I've got the color image here as well, just so you can see kind of the difference. Okay. So here, I just wanted to show you the projector um, the one last time so you can see, sorry, I've got some grease marks there. Um, so you can see the projector in its, in all its glory. Um, so yeah, the, the, I want to show you that's the most kind of weird, irritating thing about the projector is this lens thing. It doesn't actually, um, it's quite flimsy, okay? It's not like the best and you have to kind of twist to, it's really stiff so it's not, it hasn't got some kind of mechanical action to make that whole process um, nice and smooth. So yeah, it's quite flimsy and it's really light as well. Um, however, I think the projector is fine. It does its job and um, I mean, I'll give it three stars because obviously there's room for improvement. So I can't give it, can't give it a full five, but yeah, that's it. The tracer projector. Ta-da!